And then we may take your seat again. Uh, in your performance, I can uh, see that you are able to, uh, you have that knowledge on how to combat a small small fire using the fire extinguishers. However, when I say demonstrate, you should be able to uh, act as if there is a actual fire. Okay. But uh, the result, uh, as per my uh, competency checklist, you are considered as competent. Therefore, I am going to send you to the money officer to for the evaluation of your documents and application. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Uh, please come in. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. Uh, have a seat, please. Sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay. Good morning. Uh, I'm Mr. Roger Jones Carilla, your assessor for today. Just introduce yourself. Uh, I'm uh, OS, Hilario Nambat, uh, working in uh, one of the uh, company of Marseillesai. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a scheduled, sir, I was, uh, I came here for uh, the assessment of mm -hmm. that, uh, that uh, whatever the, 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 can you provide me for this day. Okay, uh, Mr. Hilario, uh, your, my purpose is, uh, of your assessment today is uh, to promote you uh, as uh, able seaman. Uh, your assessment is based on STCW uh, Table 8, 6-1-1. Uh, your competence is uh, survive at sea in the event of ship uh, abandonment. Yes, and uh, my objective only is uh, it's very easy. They just only to demonstrate how to do the life to jump, but in less than one minute. Okay, sir. So, um, <coughs> please just uh, relax. Just tell me if uh, you are ready. Okay, sir. I'm ready, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, we will start. Uh, this is your uh, job. Uh, by the way, Mr. Pilario, uh, your performance will be recorded in your PRB. Okay, okay. okay. okay just tell me if uh, you're ready. Okay, are ready, sir? Okay. So, at first, both your overhead mm -hmm. and Connect bell pro, pass around the body, connect the bucket, the two parts together, then pull on loose, pull, pull on loose parts of weaving for a tight but comfortable fit, connect the top bucket, Connect the top bucket, the two parts together, okay. and check the lights and whistle if they are uh, all working in good condition. Okay. Okay, Mr. Please undone your light jacket and uh, have a seat. Sure. Uh, you're competent 
or be able to I recommend you to promote as an able singer. And uh, just uh, wait for our call. And uh, tomorrow, uh, we will uh, call you and uh, we will uh, require you to send uh, some of your requirements. Okay, thank you so, very much. for that, uh, Mr. Hilarion, I recommend you to read some uh, of the life saving manual. Just only to familiarize yourself and uh, to know more about others, um, other life saving equipment. Okay, thank okay you, Mr. Hilarion, that's all. Okay, Have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Please come in. Morning, sir. Morning. Okay, we'll see you. Uh, thank you. So, how's the travel? Uh, so, okay, sir. Perfect. Okay. Okay, uh, you're here to assess you. So, I'm uh, your assessor for today. I'm Mr. Hilario Nambat. And uh, I will assess you regarding our STCW Table 6. <coughs> Uh, it's last one. Yes, sir. That's one. And I will uh, assess you regarding the competence uh, regarding survival sea in the event of ship's abandonment. Yes, sir. And our KUP, and I want to know the, your knowledge regarding the value of training you encountered and uh, drills performance. So action to be taken when required to abandon. Yes, sir. Okay. So, the purpose of this assessment is, uh, as I heard, and uh, company instruction, uh, this assessment to be carried out as for your promotion. So, and the result will be recorded to your TRB, and uh, it will be your reference to give it to the company as a proof that you are uh, ready for your promotion. Yes, so, our uh, uh, assessment is based on uh, dunning of a life jacket within one minute. Yes, so, can you... Uh, are you ready to perform it today? Yes, sir. I'm ready, sir. Okay, so... I will give you this one and... Uh, and can you show me the dunning of life jacket within one minute? Yes. And it will be recorded. Yes, sir. Okay. First, uh, grab the life jacket facing you overhead and uh, connect belt to strap. Stitch uh, as a belt around the body. Uh, connect uh, the buckle. Pushing two parts, uh, pull on loose end. Uh, connect the buckle, pushing two parts together. And uh, check uh, lights, light jacket lights, and whistle. Click out, sir. Okay. And, uh, oh, I'm so, so sorry, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then the life, and then the life jacket. Then have a seat. <coughs> so, as I observe on your uh, performance uh, in port, uh, you got uh, correctly it in sequence and in time but uh, there is one sequence that uh, you forgot to tighten the loose part of your life jacket anyway in four you got three out of four on the steps of uh, turning a life jacket correctly so i can also conclude that uh, you passed but maybe i think all is yours also only you feel nervous so that's why one part uh, you miss yes, so in that case so i just recommend you to just uh, more familiarize in a uh, life -like jacket anyway i can say that uh, you are uh, competent enough in a uh, dining life jacket 
So I'll just uh, uh, recommend you to review some part and uh, wait my for my call tomorrow and to give you the result and you can give it to your company as a reference for your promotion if required. Yes, okay, thank you very much you, for sir. your uh, good performance and come back tomorrow for the result printed out. Thank you. Very good, sir. Thank you. So, sir, you are here right now because our company needs a safety officer. So, what I have to do is I want you to demonstrate how to use a portable fire extinguisher board. Okay, so that's the procedure, but I have a standard. So we will demonstrate this type of equipment. It's about three minutes. Three minutes. Yes, yes, I will do my best. Okay, then I will assess uh, your performance, which I used, and then I will show you or I will do uh, it if you are competent. Okay, so. Mr. James, I have a portable fire extinguisher, okay? Yes, sir. So, kindly of show me. Demonstrate me how to use the thing. Shall I proceed, sir? Are you ready? I'm ready, sir. Yes. Okay, uh, for example, uh, the fire, uh, portable fire extinguisher are used, is used for a uh, fire that's uh, the size is smaller. So uh, the first step that uh, I should take, sir, is uh, check if there is a pressure so that uh, I'll be able to know uh, if the extinguisher can be used or not. Okay. Otherwise, I will not proceed with this extinguisher and find another extinguisher. Okay. Second is uh, uh, to carry out uh, firefighting, I must first pull the pin. Yes. Okay. I have to remove the uh, nozzle okay. and aim. Yes. And then I will uh, squeeze the trigger. Yeah. And as soon as uh, uh, the extinguishing agent comes out from the nozzle, I will sweep at the base of the fire until the fire is uh, completely extinguished. Okay. And uh, I have to secure the fire extinguisher uh, so that it will not be an instrument of uh, injuries later on. That's all, sir. Okay, please have a seat. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, based on your performance uh, using a portable fire extinguisher, uh, I'm impressed because you have a clear demonstration. Yes, sir. Thank you. Explain the parts also, and it shows your confidence. Thank the you, sir. Clarity of the demonstration show. So. Again, sir, it's obvious you are competent. So you are competent Thank you, sir. Uh, to be a safety officer on board on um, one of our ships. So again, sir, congratulations. Thank you very much. You are qualified. And then, and so um, I just want to add some recommendations because we perform all this on board. So there's still more or need to improve. So my I advice, is, yes, advice is just read some books, some instruction manuals, and at the same time watch some videos pertaining to the kind of uh, portable fire extinguisher because we all know that there are different classes of fire in board. I will just familiarize those things. Okay? So again, Mr. James, welcome to the company. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Have a nice day. Come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Lavinia. You may take your seat. Uh, as you know well, uh, the U.S. Coast Guard sector uh, Makati has uh, uh, sent us their observation from the last inspection, and uh, we seem to find out that one of the observation is that uh, uh, you were not able to. Uh, 
put off a fire using portable extinguisher. Now, to clear your vessel uh, from uh, leaving uh, our sector in Makati, uh, we would uh, require you to perform uh, the operation of the portable fire extinguisher so that uh, the U.S. Coast Guard sector uh, Makati will be uh, confident enough to, to issue uh, the port clearance for your vessel. Okay? So, uh, in like manner, and uh, I would like you to perform uh, the proper uh, operation of portable fire extinguisher. So, uh, this is the portable fire extinguisher. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I will tell you when uh, you'll be able to do that. And uh, as you know well, uh, uh, Mr. Lavina, that uh, uh, your performance here counts a lot. And uh, as I've said, uh, as soon as you complete uh, this uh, demonstration, the port clearance will be issued, and we will certify uh, your crew and including yourself as competent. So are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, please proceed. So this is a portable fire extinguisher. So the first thing that you will check is the pressure. So usually, check the weight, and then at the same time, check the condition. You check first the host, if it is damaged or not. Okay, and then, Pull the safety pin. Okay. Just pull the safety pin. And then aim for the nozzle. Okay? Aim for the nozzle. And then squeeze the lever. Okay. After you squeeze the lever, you point your nozzle at the base of the fire of which the fuel source comes from. And then it's sweeping motion. And then after it extinguish or control out, then bounce back. And then you need to secure this in a safe place. That's all. Awesome. Okay, have a seat, please. Uh, Mr. Lavinia, uh, based on your uh, demonstration uh, on the portable uh, fire extinguisher, we have seen that uh, you have completed uh, the proper uh, operation of the portable uh, fire extinguisher. We will now issue your port clearance and uh, we will certify all the crew as confident. Congratulations. Come in. Morning, sir. What is your name? I'm Dexter Mabon. Yeah, uh, what is your company? I'm from Eastern Mediterranean. Okay, thank you. And uh, I will be your assessor. I'm Rogelio Noveno. Uh, we have uh, the CPR. So, can you please demonstrate to me how to use the CPR? This is So first the procedure when I find the victim I will approach from the head because if this victim is uh, conscious I can uh, be another factor to give him uh, more injury by turning his head here head. So I will approach the victim from the head. And then uh, before that, I'm going to check the location, if it is safe for me to go there. So the scene is safe. I will proceed. And I will tap the shoulder. Hey, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. Are you OK? Are you OK? After tapping the shoulder, no response. So I'm going to apply the head tilt and chin method. So support the, the forehead. 
and give a little bit the, the back of the head. So in this case, I'm going to apply the 10 seconds counts for the, the LLF, lock condition and feel. <coughs> so checking the carotid pulse, if there's, there, there's no pulse and no breathing, I'm going to administer the CPR because the victim is on cardiac arrest. So initially, I'm going to give two full blows to the victim and check again for 10 seconds. After checking 10 seconds, no response, I'm going to apply now the cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So first, I'm going to locate the ribs in order to find the upper sternum. Once I locate the upper sternum, I put two finger, I put a palm. It's because I'm uh, right-handed, it will be left over right. So initially, the, the CPR will be performed uh, for the compression and the inflation. So let's start. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and one. Then I will give two full blows. After after the, giving uh, two full blows, it will be repeated on five five cycles. So once the victim has been revived, I'm going to stop the cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And I'm going to put finally the victim on the recovery position. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Napongo. And I think uh, we're just perfectly done it. And uh, congratulations and welcome to the company. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I don't need to give you my tomorrow, but now you're already hired. And you're already promoted. Hi, sir. Good morning. Please take a seat. Uh, your name is Mr. Rogelio Vino, right? Yes, sir. By the way, I'm uh, your assessor, next time. And for today, you came here to, as a part of your medical first aid, is, is going to be the last uh, practical assessment that I'm going to conduct with regards to your, uh, to your training. Yes, sir. So, the main intention here is, as a participant, we'll be able to to show me what is the the proper procedure of administering cardiopulmonary resuscitation to the victim that is assessed to have cardiac arrest. So this is the dummy you can uh, find yourself, which is comfortable from here or down below. All right, I can uh, place it here. So you can proceed. Yes, sir. First of all, I have to check the, the back here, if it's okay or not, and then I'm not going to move at the soft fractures of that. But first of all, then, then I have to come in here, and then I have to tilt the, to tilt the chin uh, by doing like this, and then check the ABC, you have to check the airway, the breathing, and the circulation. So, then, uh, I have to put my ear here to the nose and the mouth to check if, uh, it's, if it's breathing and checking the chest. So, then afterwards, I'm going to check the carotid here. That will take about five to ten seconds to check. Or uh, you can press it here, something like that. And then if it's breathing, and then you can uh, you can uh, uh, use the, the airbag if, uh, if it's present and make a two blow, two blow for this one. And then if not, and then if you check that it's still breathing and then it have pulse. 
and then you can apply the the two the compression and then uh, you have to check the chest in here and then uh, check the sternum here so the sternum is uh, just located about here and then you have to check uh, for two inch here and then press your uh, right hand and then try to compress for 30 times and then after compressing for 30 times and then uh, you need to blow here you take and then blow for two times for breathing but while blowing you can check the breath if it's uh, moving or not and uh, if not breathing and, I'm sorry if uh, still breathing and then uh, wait for the uh, help to come so if not breathing the same thing you have to take the blows and they have to continue compression here for 30 for 30 times and then blowing again you have to complete for five cycles and then wait for the help to come so Okay, as a part of the, the assessment, as what I will observe, I think you are aware that the uh, CPR is a very critical phase of the uh, basic life support. So it's very important that you are going to perform it properly. As per my assessment here, you've done it uh, well, your voice is good. But uh, some of the items there was uh, neglect from your side. Yes, so based on my assessment, you are not competent enough to, yes, to, to complete the course. You can have your review and then you can come back uh, when you are ready. Yes, sir. You are always welcome on any PHS Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, how are you, sir? Hi, sir. Okay, uh, before you take a seat, please uh, take out your bag. Thank you, sir. And your things. Thank you, sir. Put it here. Put it about here. And thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you, sir. How are your day today? I'm fine, sir, but I'm not for the sun. Okay. I hope uh, overall it's fine. Thank you, sir. So you are here for the assessment of proficiency as an ordinary student, right? Yes, sir. As you are uh, aware, uh, we have, uh, you have to prove to me that uh, you're proficient, especially when you are tasked as a firefighter. So one of the scope is uh, for you to show to me that you can uh, operate the fire extinguisher proficiently, step by step. Okay. So now uh, we have here the fire extinguisher. You can uh, position near this uh, fire extinguisher. And uh, okay, this. Uh, in that position. Good of all, this is uh, trying okay, to Okay, hold on, please hold on. And then uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, establish a fire, and then uh, you have uh, one minute to show to me uh, the proper operation of fixing it. Yes. Okay, this is the fire. Okay, you can start now, you have one minute. For example, this is a fire that in this. First of all, check if this is a foam dry or carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. And this is a dry chemical fire extinguisher which is fixed for class A, B, C fire. So, first of all, check the pressure gauge if it reaches the 195 psi, the maximum pressure of this fire extinguisher. And then, we have this safety cell. Break the cell. After breaking the cell, pull the safety pin. And then aim the nozzle to the fire. And that's the time you unpress this trigger uh, or uh, press down. Aim this nozzle to the fire, base of the fire, and then sweep from the downside until the fire is completely extinguished. <coughs> and after extinguishing the fire, check properly if 
there is no reward for the reignition of the fire. And if you confirm that there is no more fire, it's totally, ex totally extinguished, then return the fire extinguisher to the proper place where he is stored. Okay, very well. Please take a seat. So, uh, you have done it uh, according to the steps, but uh, my goal is uh, you have to fight the fire once I have established the fire. The fire is already burning. You can have done it in one minute, but you have exceeded already. So, you have to make more practice, familiarize with the uh, proper steps of the uh, fire extinguisher, the proper procedures, and uh, more practice. So uh, I expect you to come back day after tomorrow. You will be considered to have uh, one more assessment for you to pass. So uh, I consider this as an initial assessment for you. So uh, one uh, day after tomorrow, that will be the final. So you can come back a day after tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, please introduce yourself to me. I am uh, Mr. Randy Karskar, applying for uh, ABC. Sir, I'm your accessor today. I'm captain of the RK of this Moksasay shipping lines. Yeah. You have a set, have a set, sir. Thank you. So, you're applying as an ABC, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, as our requirements before we go on board the ship, we say, you must be proficient, especially in in case of emergency, like for example, fighting a fire, survival, or many emergencies on board the ship. So first of all, I want you to illustrate to me how to use this portable fire sensor, this dry chemical fire sensor. Sir, can you stand up? I'll illustrate you how to distinguish the fire. Example, the fire is here. At the top of this chair, how to distinguish. Can I start on something? Yeah, you can start. Okay, the fire is there. Grab the uh, fire extinguisher half right. Check the pressure gauge. Pull the pin. Aim, and squeeze, uh, swipe side to side until the fire is out. Okay. That's also it. That's all. Okay. Okay. Secure the fire extinguisher. This. How was it, Chairman? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I congratulate you. You passed my assessment and you are very proficient. Thank you very much, sir. To inviting fire. Uh, you do you have papers? Did, did you bring your documents? Uh, I have it outside, sir, on my back. Okay, report to my manager, okay, sir. who is a leader. You are a beautiful leader, uh, my manager. Sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Come in. Good afternoon. Have a seat, please. Thank you, sir. Mr. Antonio Lomagorba Jr. Yes, sir. I understand that you are applying as a nurse yeah. in one of our company. Yes, sir. Well, I am Mario Roman Calimo, and with regards to your application, I want to test your ability in administering CPR. Yes, sir. So, are you ready? Yes, sir. I think prepared, sir. Okay. Based on the CCW code table 6-A uh, slash 1-3A, which is the minimum requirement for uh, emergency cases, elementary first aid, uh, scenario, if there is a person or unconscious person who fainted, the initial action to take is first perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. 
cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a basic life support done manually and it is a very important emergency procedure wherein you're going to perform uh, basic life support, again, uh, ECC, your external chest compressions and your uh, performance of your artificial respiration or respiratory thing. The initial step to take is, first, check if the area is safe. And then, if the area is safe, proceed to the victim and uh, perform the second step, which is check for the responsiveness of the victim. How? By tapping the shoulder twice, like this. Hey ma'am, hey ma'am, hey ma are you okay? Hey ma'am, hey ma'am, are you okay? If the victim is unresponsive, what will you do? Okay. Next is shout or call for, uh, for help. Whether on board or ashore, whatever the uh, emergency procedure or SOP in your ship, do the protocol, uh, hotline, shout for help, etc. And then, next step is, okay, Kneel on the shoulder level of the victim or casualty. Assuming I'm kneeling on the shoulder level of the victim or casualty, and then you're going to perform your ABC or airway breathing and circulation. First is, okay, using your index and middle finger, locate for the carotid pulse on the side of the neck of the victim or casualty, whether on the left side or right side. Okay, whatever is uh, best suited for you, the safest position possible. Okay, so index and middle finger, okay, carotid pulse. And then, this, the second step is assess for the breathing of the victim or casualty. Okay, this is what we call our LLF or look, listen, and feel. Okay, so I'm going to position myself, assuming I'm kneeling on the shoulder level of the victim, and then using my index and middle finger, carotid pulse, and then my ear and my cheek is in line with the nose and mouth of the victim for me to feel the air if there is air coming out from the nose and the mouth. And then, as I look on the chest and the abdomen for the rise and fall. Look, listen, and feel for your breathing and pulse. Position myself. Okay, and then count for 10 seconds. Not too fast, not too slow. So assuming as I count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What is my findings or what are my findings based on the pulse and breathing? This is the main criteria. Okay, if the victim has no pulse and no breathing, what will you do? Perform immediately your cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Okay. First step is using again your index and middle finger, locate for the cyphoid process. Okay. It's uh, the, the sternum or the bone or the sternum of the bone. Okay. How? The guide will be your rib cage going up. Okay. You will feel that there is like a bone, up, uh, a very obvious bone on the uh, lower side of the chest. And then as you locate that, okay. Use your other hand, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, and then position your uh, palm, okay, uh, one inch above that. Like this one, and then after locating, okay, remove those two fingers and then interlock on top of the other hand, okay, and then make sure that your arms are in straight line with the, uh, with the uh, victim, okay, assuming I'm, I'm uh, on vertical position, okay. So as you are positioned already, count, okay, as you count, observe the face, the chest, and the abdomen. Okay, your main focus is on your uh, victim or casualty. And as you count, okay, 1, 1,001, and 1,002, and 1,003, and 1,004, and so on and so forth until you complete the full cycle, which is 30. Uh, that is uh, applied or required for one victim or casualty and one first aider or rescuer. There are other considerations, but we're focusing on one victim or casualty and one uh, first aider or rescuer. Assuming we have done that uh, properly or accurately, Okay, remove your hands, again, to know for the uh, improvement or progress of the victim or casualty as you perform your cardiopulmonary resuscitation, recheck again the carotid pulse and breathing, okay, assuming I'm breathing on both knees, and then count again, not too fast, not too slow, 10 seconds, okay, and then, what are my findings? If the victim or casualty has signs of uh, pulse on the carotid area or carotid pulse, but the victim is not breathing, what will you do? Okay, check the mouth and uh, check the mouth for any obstruction. If there is any obstructions like uh, dentures, food, etc. for that matter, make sure that you remove the obstruction first. Why? Because it, it, it is a life-threatening situation for the victim. Using your index and middle finger, the, uh, the method is called your finger sweeping method. And then as you remove or uh, remove the obstruction inside the mouth and or if the mouth is uh, clear, there is no obstruction, 
give two blows of air or two breaths of air in sequence uh, within one to two seconds. So position yourself, okay, uh, uh, kneeling on both knees on the shoulder level of the victim. Your elbow is positioned in this area, uh, head area of the victim, and then pinch the nose, open the mouth, and then blow air. Okay, blow. Your mouth is tightly sealed on the mouth of the victim or the, or the casualty because the air must be coming from the diaphragm. It's not like you're blowing like a candle on a cake. No. The air must be coming from the diaphragm so that the air that you will blow will go directly to the lungs of the victim or casualty. And then again, recheck the pulse and breathing, which is our main criteria for you to know if the uh, management that you did is effective or not. Again, recheck. Index and middle finger, a rotated pulse, and then breathing. 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, what are my findings again? If the victim shows positive signs of breathing and uh, rather positive pulse but is not yet breathing, what will you do? So there is an improvement. There's pulse already regardless if the carotid pulse is slow or fast as long as there is pulse. But the problem now is there is no breathing or signs of breathing. What will you do? A part of artificial respiration or your rescue breathing, the cycle there is one blow of air in every five seconds. The complete cycle is 12. So how are we going to perform that? Again, same position. Position your arm and then pinch the nose, open the mouth, blow air and then release. And as you count, make sure that your ear and your cheek is in line with the nose and mouth of the victim so that you can feel if there is air coming out. And then observe the chest and the abdomen. And count, okay, one, two, three, four, five, and pinch the nose, open the mouth, blow air, and then release. And continue doing the cycle until the complete cycle is 12. So that you will know if there is improvement or progress on the victim or casualty, recheck again the pulse and the breathing. Okay, again, pulse, breathing, okay, 10 seconds, okay. Assuming that you'll perform artificial respiration or rescue breathing properly or accurately, the result of that or the findings will be the victim has signs of pulse and breathing. So the victim now is revived. When the victim is revived, there's positive signs of breathing and pulse. The last step is position the victim or casualty in recovery or lateral position. So that is the last step when the victim is already revived. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. You have explained and performed CPR very well. Thank you, sir. You are very competent with merits. Thank you, sir. Uh, bring your papers tomorrow. Report to Mrs. Santos. Yes, sir. Welcome to the company. Thank you, sir. You may have it. Please have me. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Please take your seat. Uh, second you, meet uh, Mario Calino. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, you are here because uh, we're going to assess you in your uh, practical assessment regarding your uh, regarding your. Uh, uh, basic uh, uh, basic uh, uh, rather basic training for your firefighting uh, abilities yes sir okay uh, as a registered nurse uh, i would like to know your uh, uh, abilities in uh, the performance of putting out fire using your fire uh, extinguisher so uh, please proceed sir and uh, uh, do what you need to do okay sir if i discover fire First thing I must do, raise the alarm. After that, I have to inform the bridge about the fire. And if the fire is small, I have to put it out by means of portable fire extinguisher. In using a portable fire extinguisher, I must remember the word pass. Pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the trigger, and sweep. But before doing that, I have to check the pressure. I have to check what type of fire extinguisher this is. So, remembering pass, if this is the fire, I'm going to approach the fire, pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze, and sweep. 
I have to point the no cell in the base of the file. If the file is class A, but if it is class B, flammable liquids, I have to approach the file and from a distance of about one foot from the base of the file, I have to start extinguishing and do a sweeping motion, a very big sweeping motion until the fire is up. That's all, sir? That is all, sir. Okay, any additional information you would like to add? Uh, no more, sir. Okay. Please take your seat, Mr. Second Mate Kalino, rather. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Based on your performance, I, I, uh, I, must, uh, I am satisfied with your performance and I'm going to uh, uh, say that you're competent with the job uh, that you're applying for and the result of the evaluation will be reflected in your TRB. Okay, so please report our beautiful uh, uh, Manning Secretary, Ms. Uh, Mamlulu, and uh, congratulations, welcome. Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Hi, good afternoon. If I'm not mistaken, I'm Francesco, right? Yes, sir. I'm okay, have a seat. Uh, sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, anyway, let me introduce myself. I'm Philip Ingolak. Sorry, I'm your sales rep today. Yes, sir. And I know you are aware why you are here. You are here for your promotion, right? Yes, sir. That's correct, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to assess you by donning a life jacket. I'm gonna let you demonstrate on how to don a life jacket by standards. And you have um, one minute for, to perform as per standard also, okay? Any questions? Uh, no, sir. Okay. We have here an uh, overhead life jacket. Sir? And you are graded by, um, based on your performance. Okay, that's... You, do, you, uh, do you have any clarification or questions? Uh, no, sir. Okay, can you... Okay. Okay. You may perform now? Okay. So, sir, first I put the light jacket overhead. Then uh, put the, the lower strap, fix, and pull. About the loose ended, I must put on, on my body and fix it. And the upper strap must be fixed. I check the light. Check the wizard. So if I'm ready to jump in the water, I will um, close my nose by one of my hand, and the other is put or hold in the left jump. Okay. Then can you take your hands? Can check? Uh, it's tightened. Very good. The strap. Well. Very good. Okay, take the and then the left hand mm -hmm. and have a seat. Okay, sir, Mr. Chalo, I found out that you performed very well. Okay, <coughs> sir. You, you perform below one minute. You perform thirty-eight seconds. That's very good, and I found that you are that you are very competent to. to thank you very much, sir. Um, thank you. See you tomorrow, and then report to the office. Thank you very much, sir. Please come in. As soon as Ah, good afternoon. Please come in. So you are Mr. Jayla, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I am Mr. Francisco. So today uh, you are required to for uh, your certificate. Yes, certificate of competency. Yes, okay, uh, first, uh, I would like to, uh, to know about the minimum standard of competence for personal survival technique by donning the light jacket. Okay, so uh, I need to, to know if you are competent at this uh, time. Okay? Yes, okay, this is the light jacket. So you must be uh, performed as per standard and you must be uh, completed within one minute. That's okay? So are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, first thing first, sir, is you have to check 
And then um, secure the incis length, okay? To make sure that we tighten enough. Then put the upper strap. Okay. Then check the light, uh, the result. Okay. Then check the light. Um, this type of light is is uh, is manual. Then put the standby. Okay. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Jayla. Okay, that's good. Uh, please undo the life jacket and please be seated again. Based on the, uh, the procedures, uh, you've done the donning of life jacket within 38 seconds. Yeah. So that's good. So, uh, Mr. Jay, like, you achieved the uh, satisfactory performance. So, in this case, congratulations for you. Thank you, sir. You are competent for this kind of task. So, uh, this will be recorded in your uh, train record. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Morning, uh, Mr. Jason. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. I'm Louis, your assessor for today, and I, this will be your final assessment in basic safety training. So I will be assessing you on the proper donning of the life jacket. So first, my this is your life jacket. So this kind of thing. Well, sir, uh, for when I return, first, uh, on my mark, uh, I will say if, if you are going to start uh, donning the right job. So, okay, so we start. Okay, first is pull the, the bracket over your head. Then, tighten the lower strap. Yes. Then, as you can see, there will be some loose end because uh, maybe it's not fit for you. So, I just the end and secure that losing, losing strap and then the upper strap okay. must be tightened also and then afterwards you have to check the whistle and then the light is leaking okay. okay so make sure that the light is leaking because it saves you either you either you have a light jacket but it's not leaking the light so at that time it's not so Good for you, and it's okay, sir. Okay. All right. Finish. Yeah, finish. Okay. Check. Okay. Okay. This under your like jacket, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So based on my assessment. Uh, you perform as competent. You perform under one minute and you properly done your life job. Thanks, sir. So, this week for your certificate this afternoon at the lower drops. Thank you. Thanks, sir. I am Jason Pobete, uh, the training manager for this company. And as you all know, we are uh, looking for a very good and confident player. And some, somebody told me that you are capable to become one of the assets of our company. So uh, we ask you to invite you to see if you are really confident. So being an assessor for this company, uh, I would like to ask if I would like to check if you are uh, competent for our for the job. 
uh, uh, you have you need to demonstrate the weight of a jacket uh, in less than one minute. Uh, one minute. Okay. Yes, sir. So that way we can find out if you are capable for doing a life saving appliances. So that is under SDGB. Mm -hmm. So I have here the life jacket, and could you show me how to wear this life jacket? You may now start. Okay. First, you put it over your head. Uh, secure the strap. Secure the upper strap. Uh, secure the loose ends. Okay. Then, you must check for the whistle <coughs> and check for the uh, jacket lights. Okay. So, you turn the red jacket tight and properly, may you undone it. As I check that you are capable in donning the light jacket in less than one minute and that is uh, one way of checking if that is capable enough to become part of our company and that is your strength. Uh, the weakness is I think is a uh, little more confidence in your part and I suggest that not only the light jacket during your training you have to undergo other appliances in order for you to learn more and more knowledgeable, okay? So that way, I find you competent to become our cadet. So please give your requirements to our secretary and I hope you become a future officer in our company. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Come in. Good morning. Yes, sir. I'm a cadet from Vigor Santino and applying for the for a cadet in this company. So we graduated at the Hammer Range School in the province last 2016. And that's all. Okay. So, cadet, I am Captain Phillips. I am the assessor of this company. So, I will be there. There will be a series of tests if you are willing to join our fleet. But for the meantime, I will be assessing you if you are competent in life city appliances. Right now, we have this. Are you familiar with this? Yes, sir. I'm familiar with that one. What do you call this? This is a life jacket. And this is a what type? Overhead vector. Good. So uh, the scope of this assessment would be one minute without assistance. Can okay. you do it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes, sir. So this next job at first, you have to put overhead. Then this strap should be tightened. <coughs> Pull over the strap and secure. Then for the Loose parts or loose uh, loose buckles. You just have to make it uh, secure it in order to avoid obstructions. Then fasten the uh, front buckle. Then you have to check the light, open the light, in order to make sure that it is working. Then you have your whistle for for this place. No more Can I ask where, what school did you come from? 
again from MI. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Good instructor. Yeah, yeah, so far. 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 very fluently and yes you are competent welcome to the fleet and my advice to you is read more on our fun life saving appliances okay, sir. thank you okay, sir, thank you okay come in yes good morning good morning okay can we take your seat please so um can you introduce me your name? Sir, I am uh, Boson Alipolia. I am uh, last two years ago, I was on vacation and from then on, I haven't gone uh, uh, on board. Right now, I want to go back, sir. Okay, sir, so uh, you are newly applied in this company. So before we go, we think we will uh, hire you for your position that you applied for. Uh, let me have some refresher skills, too. so you have uh, some basic skills um, perform in the in any distress situation on board. So actually, this is a normal uh, procedure that we're conducting for any newly applied crew. Okay. So by the way, um, I am second mate uh, Alvin Constantino, your assessor for today. Okay. So. I am sure you are aware of any of any licensing appliances on board yes, because you have been already on board for. Right. So this one here we have a life jacket and we have only some simple uh, instructions, <coughs> some simple uh, assessment that we'll be conducting. Right. So for the for our assessment, so this is the life jacket. Uh, I just want you only to do to to done the life jacket. As per the uh, the proper proper dining procedure, okay. So are you the, are you ready for the assessment? For a moment, sir. <laughs> I'm ready, sir. Okay. So this is like target. So, so um, so can you you like target without any assistance? Yes, sir. Uh, first I will check what is uh, straps. It's okay. I will put it on top of my head. I will start here from the waist. So if ever there's a problem, you can adjust properly. Like this, it's a problem. Second is a shoulder strap. And adjust. Right. Yes, sir, you're done? Yes, sir. Only donning, sir. No checking. Yeah, okay. It's a proper donning procedure. I just only ask for that one. So let me check. Okay, so you've done it well. So the new straps were securely fastened or securely secured. Why do we undone the light jacket and please take your seat? So I, uh, as I have assessed, you properly done the life jacket as per our objective. No? So with that one, I could uh, recommend you for our recruitment. Okay, recruitment because now uh, for the, for me, I could I accept you. I, you are confident enough for the said assessment. And I would uh, recommend you to to the our HR department in order to process for your application and for your requirements needed. Okay, sir. Sir, thank you, sir. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Sir. Okay, have a nice day. Good morning. Uh, I might an anger for my answer. This is that. In the yeah. Oh my God. And I will be a assessor today. And uh, according to the application here, we want you to join our staff, our medical staff. So I will be assessing you on the points of is this CW6 slash 13. And your able questions are used to 
decide whether you will be employed or not in this company. Yes, you're right. right. So I want you to relax, take your time. I want you to explain to me your forte. You said you are expert in coding uh, applications. I want you to demonstrate to me how to apply and simply explain why you are doing this in a safe manner. So if you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. Go ahead. Uh, where's my? I have one patient over here. Oh, no. ID. This ID. Yes. So for turning application, uh, first is if there's a patient, be sure that the surroundings is safe. For the patient and for you. Second is, uh, upon uh, application of Tornikey, you should first introduce yourself. It will take a minute. So, uh, hi, I'm Mark. I'm a trained rescue rescuer, and I'm here to help. There will be three uh, consent: verbal, written, and uh, implied. So, if the patient, the patient, let's say the patient is conscious, and sir, I am Mark. I'm here to help. Say yes, sir. Yes. Okay. yes. Then uh, I will put gloves because um, if there's a uh, discharge from the patient, it will cause harm to the rescuer because we don't know what the patient's disease is. Then, second, we will expose the part of the wound of the patient. Say, for example, the wound of the patient is in his left arm. We will expose that. Remember that a happy wound is a naked wound. So it is better if we can see the patient wound for assessment. Say for example the uh, wound is on this part. We will first apply direct pressure to the patient. Then afterwards we will apply tourniquet. If the setting is in the uh, rural areas or away from the civilization, any any uh, string or tie could be made as a tourniquet. Say for example, necktie or shoelace. Then we'll apply tourniquet up above the patient's wood. Why? Because it is uh, to stop the bleeding from the patient's wound. Make sure that the uh, application of tourniquet is tight enough to prevent the loss of blood. Because the more the patient use of uh, blood, it can complicate to shock, which in some cases very fatal. That's all. According to my evaluation, we are very competitive. However, I think I can hear you mention about calling for bridge and forming the bridge for whatever happens and probably you fail to uh, mention the severity of the wound to the victim. But in this case, you will be accepting this company, you will be formed accordingly and uh, you are dismissed by the company. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Sit down. Thank you. Hi, I am Mark, and I see here that you're here for the assessment on how to operate the fire extinguisher. Yes, am I right? Yes, and what's your name? Michael. Hi. Uh, so, this will be an assessment 
for you to pass and to be employed in this company. So the scope will be uh, to check your capability on demonstrating the step and by step procedure in using the fire So we can start now whenever you're ready. I'm ready, sir. First of all, sir, before I proceed, assuming that there's a fire on this here, before I proceed, I have to check the pressure, if it's charged or not, and then I have to check the type of extinguisher it is. On the procedure, sir, there are other instances that I have to drag it on the ground like this because of the static electricity. In order to charge static electricity, I have to drag it down like this. And remembering only the acronym pass. Uh, pull the pin, aim the fire, squeeze the trigger, and sweep. So it has to be done like this, sir. So to pull the pin right here, right, then uh, aim the nozzle at the base of the fire, then squeeze the trigger right here, and do a sweeping motion until the fire is extinguished. And after the fire is extinguished, I have to secure this in place again and inform the bridge. That's all, sir. Thank you, Sir Mike, and please sit down for your evaluation. Excuse me. So I can see that you have mentioned the pass or the pull aim squeeze and sweep, and that's good. And you are well, you are confident and consistent with the steps and procedure. However, I will be having recommendations, comments that I'll be writing here in your paper and. With that, uh, congratulations, congratulations, you are competent and you are now moving to the next level.